All right, I find myself at a crossroads here whether to abandon social media altogether or to completely give myself over to it and uh, and make it a priority because Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, I haven't really been feeling any of it lately. I've just been very much, uh, I've been an observer. I've been a little voyeuristic in terms of just like, I'll watch other people. I will... Uh, I'll watch statuses update on Facebook, and I'll watch tweets come in on Twitter, and I'll watch videos. But I've been lazy on on replying on Twitter, on commenting on Facebook, and commenting on YouTube videos I watch. But figure out, convince myself to keep going. It's, it doesn't seem like social networking is going away, and it is something that I like doing. So it shouldn't be this hard. Second thing, because that was the first. I, I had this... Uh, little goatee thing going here and uh, it, it, it's long at the moment it needs to be trimmed down but look I don't know if you can see it I have little ginger hairs like little red hairs growing in my goatee you probably can't see it but I have pretty dark skin like relatively dark skin considering the rest of my family has lighter skin so explain that to me but I have dark a darker skin tone I never burn I have dark hair, as you can see, it's just, everything about me is very dark, so I don't know where the red hair is coming from. And I'm trying to grow in the full beard on the sides here, but like, look at this. This is pathetic. This is weak sauce. It's not going to grow in. I just, I'm starting to think I don't have it in me. Number three, the issue at hand, the most substance of this video is, I came across this mix, and I've been making mixed CDs ever since my parents got a CD burner in, uh, I think it was for Christmas 2000, we got a new computer. My parents, that was like kind of their gift to the family is they bought a new computer. And it had this wonderful invention in it called a CD, you know, copier. I didn't realize that they were called burners at the time. But the CD burner. And so I learned quickly, I taught myself how to burn CDs. And as soon as I learned, learned how to burn CDs, I took my love of making mixed tapes into making mix CDs and uh, I found one of my older mix CDs and I really appreciate that I did this for myself I'll cover up the track so I can at least keep some suspense it's Andy's mix 10401 now you remember the cultural context in which that is that is not even a full month after 9-11 and the, the mix actually reflects that um, the first song is uh, Kermit the Frog's Rainbow Connection. Second is uh, Breakaway by the Beach Boys, which I still affirm is a fantastic song, one of their, their later great hits. Um, then there's this, this track called by a guy named uh, Byron McGregor called The Americans, where he essentially, uh, it, it's, a, it's a, a speech that was given by a Canadian in the 70s about how the U.S. does all this good stuff in the world and uh, who would blame them if after Vietnam we told the rest of the world, screw you, we're going to have our own isolationist foreign policy. Like, we're not going to help no matter what happens, because the whole rest of the world would be in trouble if that happened. It, very patriotic, very, yeah, we're the greatest kind of kind of stuff. Uh, Frank Sinatra's My Way, um, Hanging by a Moment by Lifehouse, that was really big then. 500 Miles by The Proclaimers, a couple of tracks by Queen, um... Uh, Piano Man by Billy Joel. I was discovering some some classics when I when I got this, and I have four tracks in a row by a, this band called I don't even see them by uh, by me first in the Gimme Gimmies. Um, there's somewhere over the Rainbow Phantom of the Opera, Uptown Girl, and my favorite things. Basically, they're they're a punk rock cover band of, and they just cover other stuff. And I was I was 14, and I thought that was hysterical. So that's what we did. It was pretty fun. Um, and then Eve Six's Here's to the Night was the, the closing track. So what this mix shows me is, number one, that I, I'm, uh, I'm very much influenced by the time that I live in because the tracks, a lot of tracks on here wouldn't have been on here if, if it wasn't for the fact that it was right after 9-11. But, and some of them just show that I was a 14-year-old boy. Um, for instance, uh, the Smash Mouth version of "I'm a Believer." Really, but and, and and so, but there are hints that I might know what I'm doing. Like, 
by putting some Beach Boys on there, by putting some Sinatra, some, um, by by putting some Billy Joel, uh, it, it showed that I had flashes of actually knowing how to make a mix. Um, and, and watching the movie High Fidelity has taught me how to make a truly good mix, but um, it's just, it. <laughs> it's funny because I can remember where I was and what I was doing when I was listening to this mix. Um, I was on a on a school bus my sophomore year of high school and 